Did Sean Combs really try to blow up rapper Kid Cudi's car? It's a stunning allegation that we first saw in Cassandra Ventura's lawsuit, but is now echoed by prosecutors in their criminal case against the entertainment. Uh, the filing then says shortly after Diddy's threat, Kid Cudi's car actually blew up, and Kid Cudi confirmed it. You know, like with Biggie and Tupac, and they're all hating at each other, and they both got killed, and, uh, and then there's people that thought that Puffy was involved, and Suge Knight was involved. Speaking Hi, my name is Mandy. In the world of hip-hop, where wealth and controversy often go hand in hand, this is where things get interesting. But this picture of Diddy is like nothing else. A hip-hop mogul famous for his huge business company is now in the path of a storm that could destroy everything he's worked for. This isn't just normal rumors. It's much more serious and true. The new information about this case isn't just a whisper or a story. It's real and shocking, going against everything fans thought they knew about him. Let's go back to a strange event that started the whole story. At the beginning of the story, there was a frightening car explosion that hurt a child. It wasn't an accident. And it wasn't just any car that caught fire. It was planned. And police think it may have been more than just a coincidence, which means there were personal and deliberate reasons for it. Everyone, from people who work in the industry to diehard fans, was interested in how Kid Q's fancy car caught fire. This made people wonder what was going on behind the scenes. Was there a grudge, a feud, or something much deeper? There have been rumors that Diddy could be at the center of this very dangerous situation. Allegations suggest that he might have orchestrated the incident as part of an escalating conflict coming from a former relationship. This incident has since become a symbol of much more, a controversial marker that TIs into a wider hidden side of Diddy's public life. It's a tale that touches on the shadows within the glitz and glamour of his empire, showing how far someone might go to hold on to their reputation image, and control. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. The FBI's attention quickly turned to Diddy's high-end car collection now under scrutiny as they pieced together links and motives. This isn't just any collection of cars. 
It's a parade of the world's most elite and luxurious vehicles, each representing a piece of his character in the entertainment world among these treasures is the Maybach 57 seconds, a car that for many isn't just a means of transportation, but a declaration of rank priced at a staggering $420,000. The Maybach is a fortress of comfort and elegance driven by a twin-turbo V12 engine that roars to life with an impressive 600 for horsepower. It's more than a car. It's a symbol of power and personality. Diddy didn't just keep this luxury to himself. In one of his famously extravagant moves, he gave a Maybach 57 to his son Justin on his 16th birthday, further showcasing his lavish lifestyle and familial TIs. The Rolls-Royce Phantom is another jewel in his collection valued at nearly half a million dollars, boasting an interior of handcrafted wood, fine leather, and silence that only wealth can buy, designed for a smooth, quiet ride. The Phantom has turned heads at countless red carpet events and high-profile gatherings, embodying Diddy's insatiable chase of exclusivity and the very best in everything he touches. His silver Lamborghini Gardo Spire, on the other hand, is built for speed and style, hitting 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds a machine that matches the fast pace of his life and ambition. Each car in his fleet is as much a part of his brand as his music and businesses, showing a public face of affluence and success. But now these cars have become more than status symbols. They're under the lens of investigators, potential pieces in a puzzle that's getting harder to ignore. What once served as an emblem of his success is now part of a bigger story shrouded in speculation about their TIs to Diddy's ongoing legal fights as these assets are examined for connections to his carefully curated image is starting to crack, showing glimpses of a reality far removed from the polished lifestyle he's known for. Diddy's reputation for pushing boundaries and living large may have caught up with him in ways no one could have expected as we delve deeper. Diddy's life of luxury starts showing even more complex layers. His Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, for example, isn't just about horsepower and acceleration. It's about image, a carefully crafted one known for flaunting it on social media and even using it in music videos. This silver Lamborghini became part of his brand, but what was once a sign of success now faces scrutiny under the weight of an investigation. The authorities aren't merely glancing at his lifestyle, they're dissecting it, analyzing each asset to understand the links within his empire and what it represents. And the Ferrari 36 Medina, it's more than just a sleek Italian machine, it's iconic, representing his love for speed and style. He was seen showing off this Ferrari in different music videos, notably in his hit I Need a Girl Part 2. A car with a price tag of around $160,000 may not stand out as the most expensive in his collection, yet it holds a unique place for Diddy. Each car isn't merely a purchase but a statement, an extension of his identity. In a world where status is everything, but as these cars are swept into an investigation, they go from symbols of luxury to potential pieces of a larger narrative, raising questions about what lies beneath this extravagant collection. Yet his taste in cars isn't limited to European luxury. He also owns a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. But this isn't just any Jeep. It's been transformed to show his bold personality. Purchased at around $50,000, he spent an additional $80,000 in custom changes, removing the doors, stripping the roof, and adding custom rims, along with a powerful sound system. For many, this all-American vehicle stands out as a unique piece in his collection. Contrasting with the polished elegance of his Maybach and Phantom, but now as the investigation broadens, even the Jeep becomes a part of the puzzle, an emblem of Diddy's persona that investigators are scrutinizing connections. One car that holds particular emotional value for Diddy is his Kempt from examination. The investigation is looking into every area of his life, and as each car tells a part of his story, it raises questions about how much of that story was crafted versus concealed. Diddy's fleet reflects a lifetime of achievements, each car a chapter in his journey from music mogul to cultural icon. However, as authorities continue to probe, 
The collection he once flaunted is now under a microscope, possibly unraveling the very empire he built. While Diddy has kept a reputation for luxury and influence, these high-profile assets could now serve as evidence, shifting the story from success to suspicion. With the investigation's pace building, the story moves beyond just the cars. After Diddy's high-profile arrest in 2024, the government's focus turned toward his entire financial empire, targeting his wealth and assets with relentless scrutiny known for his larger-than-life image. Diddy's financial reach goes far beyond cars. His empire includes music, luxury, real estate, fashion, and high-end spirits. Each business once regarded as a testament to his success now falls under the shadow of legal fights that threaten to dismantle the foundations he built over decades. Authorities have gone as far as studying the chance of asset forfeiture for someone with an empire as sprawling as Diddy's. This means that anything linked to suspected misconduct could possibly be seized with these accusations. The government has started connecting the dots questioning whether his wealth and assets may in some way be tied to ongoing allegations. This is no small probe when the stakes are this high. Each element of his wealth is subject to examination. The expansive scope of his business makes the process exhaustive, leaving nothing untouched. Diddy's businesses are as vast as they are powerful, branching from the entertainment industry into areas like real estate and luxury spirits. Bad Boy records his flagship music label was once the pulse of hip-hop shaping careers and affecting generations, but now federal investigations are sifting through his investments and partnerships, raising the question of whether his assets might have played a role in alleged each layer of his empire. Once hailed as a crowning success, is being peeled back, exposing the vulnerability of a kingdom built on fame, wealth, and influence. Rumors of asset liquidations have emerged, with sources saying that Diddy is selling off pieces of his prized collection to cover the mounting legal costs. Even though Diddy has denied any wrongdoing, the costs involved with the defense of this magnitude are astronomical legal effies alone. Reportedly in the seven-figure range places an immense financial strain on his business. It's not just about the money, it's about preserving his legacy and the company he spent his life crafting. Diddy's wealth has been his shield, his way of showing that he had risen to the top. But as the costs escalate, even though shield seems to be crumbling, the ripple effect of his arrest goes beyond finance. Every piece of his life is under study, from his personal interactions to his role as a mentor. Each of his business symbols of his success now faces scrutiny that could reveal a much different story than the one his public image has presented. While Diddy has built an empire that many thought was untouchable, the investigation suggests that even the most fortified kingdoms can be vulnerable to collapse when secrets emerge from the shadows as the legal process in fans and onlookers are left thinking what will be left of Diddy's empire once the dust settles. The shadow cast by this investigation is affecting more than just Diddy's assets. It's impacting his relationships, especially with artists he taught and peers who once looked up to him as a visionary in the industry. Diddy's influence in music is unparalleled. He guided countless artists to fame, including big names like Usher and Faith Evans, shaping the careers of stars who became icons in their own right. But now, under legal scrutiny, the association with Diddy has become a complicated matter for these artists, while his impact on their careers is undeniable. The accusations have left many grappling with the question of whether continued loyalty could hurt their reputations. Bad Boy records the label Diddy built into a powerhouse once represented a golden age of hip-hop. The label was home to some of the genre's most memorable acts and was important in shaping the 1990s music scene. Artists like the Notorious B and T Total found both fame and wealth under Diddy's direction while he crafted Bad Boy Records into a brand synonymous with success. However, the legal problems looming over Diddy are now casting a long shadow over the legacy of his label and the artists connected with it. This investigation threatens to tarnish the very brand that was once untouchable a brand that stood as a monument to Diddy's success in the music world. For artists who owe much of their careers to Diddy, 
This situation creates a dilemma. Sticking by their former mentor risks tying their own images to the scandal, while distancing themselves could mean a public acknowledgement of a once close association's downfall. Usher, for instance, who credits Diddy for launching him into the industry has been notably reserved, making only cryptic references to his experiences under Diddy's guidance. The relationship once celebrated is now shrouded in ambiguity as artists manage the complex terrain between loyalty and reputation. Even Justin Bieber, who was widely mentored by Diddy as a young artist, finds himself at a crossroads. Bieber's early experiences with Diddy exposed him to a lifestyle few teenagers encounter, a world of wealth, luxury, and fame. But as the legal pressures mount, Bieber has subtly distanced himself, shifting his public persona toward one of personal growth and maturity with a focus on mental health and family rather than the luxury lifestyle he once embraced. The relationship that once boosted Bieber's image now sits uneasily within the wider context of Diddy. The ripple effects stretch beyond individual artists to the hip-hop community at large. The legacy Diddy worked so hard to build is now under threat as is the reputation of those he helped rise to fame. Each artist collaborator and Mendy faces a difficult choice. Stay silent, possibly risking their own reputation, or distance themselves from the man who played such a pivotal role in their careers. As more details emerge, the industry watches closely, wondering if Diddy's fall from grace will redefine the landscape of hip-hop and influence those who once looked up to him while Diddy's mentors and friends weigh their choices. The investigation hits new heights as the police delve into every corner of his lifestyle style. One of the most important focuses of this probe has been his luxurious private jet, a girlfriend stream G550 worth around $60 million, which has long been a symbol of his ill. This jet with its blacked-out exterior and opulent interior is as much a part of his public image as his music and brand deals built for luxury travel. It features leather seating, entertainment zones, dining areas, and even a separate sleeping quarter. It's not just a means of transportation. It's a moving fortress of exclusivity and indulgence. The Gulfstream G550 is more than a status symbol. It's been the site of some of Diddy's most exclusive meetings. Further adding to its mystique rumors have swirled for years about the so-called freak-off parties he allegedly held on board gatherings that supposedly featured a select few of his al These parties became famous within the entertainment circle, adding layers to the public's fascination with Diddy's lifestyle. High-profile celebrities, from musicians to Hollywood stars, were often rumored to be among the guest list, fueling the Jets' image as a playground for the executives. But now, this very symbol of Diddy's lifestyle has turned into a key piece of the investigation during the federal raids. Agents allegedly seized multiple electronic devices from the Jet, including laptops, mobile phones, and potentially encrypted internal drives. These items are thought to contain digital records that might link back to the allegations or shed light on other undisclosed matters related to Diddy Circle. Although officials haven't disclosed all the seized items, it's clear they are looking for concrete proof that could tie Diddy's wealth and resources to the allegations that have surfaced. The sudden movement of his jet to Antigua just hours before the raids on his homes raise even more questions. The timing led to intense speculation that Diddy may have been tipped off about the impending investigation, sparking rumors that he could be trying to evade the law and complicated extradition agreements with the US is often regarded as a strategic destination for those seeking to avoid legal consequences. This unexpected detour added fuel to the fire, leaving many to wonder if Diddy was seeking temporary refuge or simply taking a precautionary measure amid the escalating scrutiny. Social media has been buzzing about what the FBI might find on Diddy's jet and what his lifestyle might reveal about his legal issues. Many are questioning the extent to which high-profile guests who joined him on these flights may also become entangled in the investigation. The jet was once a private haven for Diddy, 
and his circle is now a focal point of intrigue with the potential to unearth secrets that could profoundly impact both his reputation and the reputations of those who joined him. The investigation into Diddy's lifestyle and assets has reached a point that could alter his legacy permanently. The March 2024 raids on his properties, along with the scrutiny of his jet, have sent shockwaves through Hollywood and the hip-hop community, leading many to reconsider their relationships with him while some high-profile figures like Justin Bieber and Lebron James have chosen to stay silent. Others in the business, like rapper 50 Cent, have been quick to weigh in, with 50 Cent openly mocking Diddy on social media. This feud between the two powerhouses of hip-hop has only intensified with recent events as 50 Cent uses every development as a chance to take jabs at Diddy, turning the public spectacle into a rivalry that seems to live on. 50 Cent's comments have added an extra layer of complexity to Diddy's public problems as he capitalizes on the scandal to elevate his own image known for his relentless trolling. 50 Cent has taken to social media numerous times to mock Diddy even hinting at his own plans to produce a documentary series titled Diddy Do It, a project he claims will dig into Diddy's legal challenges. This move could cement their feud as one of hip-hop's most notorious rivals, with both figures representing two sides of an industry that is now questioning its own values and allegiances. The damage extends beyond personal feuds and public jabs. Says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. He says something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> then when it's people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> So, Rick Ross talking shit about Diddy. I should go to my DMs. Ooh, I want my phone right now. Tell bring her phone, phone, bring her I'm phone. I'm gonna go to my DMs because you know he blocked me, but I still have to go to all this stuff I screenshot. Is there anything about Ross and his career that you have any respect for? Oh, no, there's nothing there, there's nothing. This true, yeah, this, this true inspiration, me being with my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, we here, we here, we here. We, we, we the neighborhood association now. You better believe it, you better believe it, mother. Diddy's vast empire, once worth over a billion dollars, has already begun to fracture under the pressure of these legal problems, with multiple lawsuits and possible criminal charges hanging over him. Diddy's net worth has allegedly dropped from $1 billion to $600 million in just a few years, and the financial toll is expected to continue. The costs of defending himself against these claims, combined with the potential for more assets to be seized, have led to speculation about how much of his empire will survive the scandal. His businesses, from music to fashion to spirits, may not survive the damage, especially as brand partnerships and sponsorships pull back from the public image. A mix of luxury influence and power is now on the edge of collapse. The hip-hop community as well as the public are watching closely to see whether this will mark the end of his career or if he will manage to rebuild. The FBI raids have changed his life from one of privilege to one of intense public scrutiny turning his luxurious assets into symbols of excess under the microscope with each new detail that the narrative changes from success to scandal, leaving fans, former associates, and industry insiders wondering what the future holds as the investigation unfolds Diddy faces a defining moment that could either reinforce or dismantle his reputation. This is a turning point not only for him but for those linked to him artists, friends, and colleagues who once benefited from his guidance and influence. Whether he manages to clear his name or falls under the weight of these allegations, the result will reverberate through the entertainment industry, reshaping the perception of an empire that once seemed untouchable. In the end, the question remains, can Diddy weather this storm and emerge with his empire intact? Or will this be the scandal that finally breaks?